Happy Friday and welcome to the week, your source for news you don't need. I hope you had a very romantic Chinese Valentine's Day. One man in Beijing has taken his standard of living to an entirely different level, literally. A medicine mogul in the Chinese capital has been under fire for a construction project that has taken him several years to complete. He thought he could build his 8,600 square foot dream villa on top of the apartment building. So you see it there. This is in Beijing. He spent years building it, brought in boulders to make it look like a mountain retreat. The problem, it violates virtually every city ordinance possible. <laughs> this story has deep undertones of rich people always getting their way in China. But most of the complaints have actually been about the noise. The guy's apparently a party animal, and can you blame him? Let's be honest, that setup is pretty cool. Authorities are giving the man two weeks to come up with the proper permits or the thing will have to be torn down, which I think is a huge waste. Still, China isn't the only place in the world having construction controversy this week. In Spain this morning, the developers of a 47-story apartment building have a bit of a problem. The Intempo Tower in the booming resort city of Benidorm doesn't have room for an elevator. The building was supposed to be 20 stories tall. When the architects made it bigger, they forgot to adjust the elevator plans. So Europe's tallest residential building has no working elevator to the top. Either the architects of this building are trying very hard to promote leg strength, or they've seen too many videos like this one. That ghostly girl is whiter than Justin Bieber's behind. And now we've got proof. TMZ released some interesting photos of the pop star at his grandmother's house celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving last year. Here he is, completely naked, holding a guitar in front of his little thing. And here he is again, singing to his grandmother in the same costume. Now, if there are any parents out there, let me give you some advice on how to deal with your preteen daughter's Justin Bieber obsession. That right there is your laptop. This right here is my 45. That was the first round. These are exploding ho hollow point rounds, and you have to pay me back for these too, because these are about a dollar a piece. That would solve some problems, but how do we cope with the child heartthrob turned self-centered internet maniac who left Canada to take over the world? Well, I've got an idea. Just south of the border in the U.S. this week, discussions have grown over a proposed transportation vehicle that could change the industry forever. It's called the Hyperloop. It's described as a city-to-city solar-powered elevated transit system that would travel along the I-5 and I-580 at speeds of up to 760 miles per hour. Each aluminum capsule enclosed in steel tubes would hold 28 people and, like on an airplane, passengers would be allowed to take a few bags with them. That's cool, although there are a few problems. Number one. The space for passengers to sit is smaller than an economy seat on an airplane. The second, most experts say the project will cost much more than the $6 billion originally planned. I think the real problem comes though when the average person is moving at speeds of more than 1,100 kilometers per hour in a super small space. Because here's what it would look like. Stay tight, stay tight, stay tight, stay tight. Will, sit up. I'm up. Sit up. I'm up. You're up. Put your head up. It is up. Put your head up. Oh, I'm gonna vomit. Okay, get the bag. Get the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Reports say an American professor with a similar idea is in talks to bring this technology to China. Just like I'm about to bring you the rest of this week's Best Odd News. So here they are in 30 seconds. The mobile phone company BlackBerry is officially up for sale, although I'm not sure anyone who would be interested in buying a completely irrelevant technology company. What I meant to say about the story is that nobody cares. At a gun safety class in the US, a 76-year-old instructor accidentally shot his student, in case you were worried that America's gun laws are already too safe. Authorities in Scandinavia are warning swimmers to keep their clothes on. A fish called the Paku is famous for biting and eating testicles. And a number of organizations are calling for a boycott against the Hitler-themed wine. I guess for this company, hatred has become the new cheese and crackers. 
That's our show for this week. Enjoy this week's best viral video. See you next time. And don't forget all the trouble we got into. Why does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a s***? What's me? Well, it was f***ing one of yes. Disgusting!